Hi, I'm Brad Jackson, and I'm sitting in my office, so it must be the Jack Sunday Show. Roll intro. My name is Brad Jackson, and whether I'm flying airplanes or building pedals, I'm always learning. Join me, and together we'll expand our horizons. This is Jackson Audio. All right, guys, I have something really exciting to talk to you about. It's, some, it's something that I never thought would ever happen uh, on this channel. We've been doing this channel since about January, and Josh, our video videographer, videographer, sent me a screenshot of our stats on YouTube, and something has happened that I can't even understand at all. But you won't believe this, but 1.7% of our viewers are now female. Can you believe women actually have time to watch this stuff? This is incredible. I mean, it's, it's, I really think it's important that women be more involved in music. I mean, God knows they have power and authority when they play and sing. But I just think that it's really great that the more people are, more women are getting involved in pedals and gear and that kind of stuff. So our stats are, we're at one point, what was it? One point, I've already lost it. Hang on. 1.7% of our viewers are female. It's still, you know, it's better than a Dream Theater concert. But guys, we're getting there. We're making progress in the, in, in the industry. So guys and girls, thank you for watching. It's an honor to have you here. Hopefully we'll learn something together. Okay, so on the topic of Ask Jackson, we had a guy, or I think it was a guy, it was a 97% chance it was a guy, that sent us a question about specifically gear, specifically which parts are the hardest parts to come by in the gear manufacturing industry. Well, that changes all the time, but there's been one part that's been really, really hard to come by for the last, I'd say, 10, 15 years. So let's get into that now on today's segment of Talk Nerdy to Me. This is a whole new level of nerd. nerd, nerd, nerd. Safety glasses on. My calculations are correct. What do you want to watch? You're gonna see some serious sh Today's Ask Jackson question comes to us from a guy named David Shu, who has a question about which components in pedals are the hardest to come by. Well, that changes all the time depending on the situation in the world now with shipping and uh, maybe a hundred cargo ships out by Huntington Beach in California. I was actually there about a month ago flying. And as I flew from Napa Valley over into Orange County, I flew back out over the, the Gulf by Huntington Beach and there's probably a hundred cargo ships just sitting there out in the bay doing nothing. Nobody was unloading. Apparently you can't even get people to work up there to, to unload stuff. So that explains a lot of the shortages we're having with electronic components right now. But there's one one ship that's really hard to come by now. It's, it's the Spin ship. It's the Spin FV1 ship. It's a reverb ship that a lot of companies use for really great sounding reverbs. And we're actually working on something right now that's gonna use that ship and it's really hard to come by. We have an order for I think 2,000 of them in place and they'll get here when they get here. And that's the same situation that guys like Walrus and I assume maybe even guys like JHS are into because I, I think they both use that ship a little bit. So anyway, that's a really hard to come by chip. But the one chip, it's not even really a chip, it's a transistor. It's hard to come by. It's been picked over for decades. It's the, the venerable germanium transistor. This is what a, if you buy a bunch of transistors off eBay or wherever, I think these are Russian transistors. Uh, I'd have to measure them to figure out what they are, but this is like a thousand of them at least. And you kind of have to buy them in just mass quantities, but you'll buy this not really knowing what you get and you kind of hope for the best. And you have to take this transistor right here. Would you like it here? This transistor here, and you have to measure it. You're looking for different gain values and leakage and that kind of stuff, which is all nerdy, nerd speak for how much does it amplify the signal? And when it does amplify the signal, how much leaks around it or how much, uh, how much is it amplifying without you wanting to amplify? That's the simplest way I can describe leakage. But the gain value of a transistor, of a germanium transistor is critical because you have two transistors in a fuzz space. Let's just take a fuzz space for example. You have two transistors and it's the ratio of the first transistor to the second transistor that makes the magic. The, the, I think the, the range is like 70 to 90, uh, it's called HFE of gain on the first transistor and I think 120 to 140 on the second one. So um, yeah, having the critical part that doesn't leak, has the right gain is everything. So that's why you have to go through thousands just to get maybe 
you might go through the, this whole bag and if you're lucky come out with five to ten fuzz pedals out of this one bag of parts that's why you see people with you know fuzz pedals are not cheap because yeah you have to basically burn a ton of money just to get the right parts case in point we're, we're building a pedal it's a modified version of our fuzz pedal it's gonna be all germanium it's gonna be really really awesome um but it's gonna be ultra limited edition. Like, I don't even think we're gonna let dealers carry because it it's that limited edition. Um, because one dealer would place an order and they'd all be gone. So what's gonna happen eventually is we'll make a, a version of our fuzz that's all germanium uh, as a kind of a custom shop Jackson audio product. And I've had to buy tens of thousands of germanium transistors from every source I could find in the world. And we had one of our employees just sit down for about a week and audit all of them and pick through to get maybe a couple hundred good ones. That's how bad it is. Out of 10,000 transistors you buy, you maybe get 200 that are actually worthwhile. So I would say that's probably the hardest component to come by. Maybe, maybe there's things I'm not thinking of, but that's the one that sticks out of my mind as a component that's really critical to have to make it sound right. And it's just also super hard to come by. So I would say germanium transistors. So David, thank you for your question. I really appreciate it. That's a, that's a good question for the industry because right now we're dealing with massive global shortages of simple things like op amps. Um, you go to mauser.com to try to buy the most common op amp in the world and you can't find it because of the shipping problems that the world is having now, you know, in a, in a post, you know, still, still COVID world. So David, thank you for the question. Really appreciate, appreciate you writing and taking the time to ask us the question. You asked for a golden boy in exchange for your question. So David, you're getting a golden boy. Hope you enjoy it as much as we do. We'll talk to you soon. Guys, thank you for the questions. As always, sending your questions in for Ask Jackson. It's a ton of fun to talk about this kind of stuff because I tell my friends all the time that I can't hardly talk to my wife about half the stuff I work on because it's extremely boring. But if you're in if you're in the industry and you love the gear, it's fun to talk about because it's exciting and you know, designing a product is one thing, getting it built is a whole different ball of yarn, man. So stuff like global shortages on chips, transistors, op amps make things really, really difficult. But thankfully, you know, we have good suppliers, good relationships. But yeah, it still makes it it still makes it a challenge, but it's worth it because music is always worth it. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the Jack Sunday show. It's a ton of fun to do this kind of stuff. If you're getting something out of it, please tell your friends. If you want to subscribe, please, it always helps and it kind of pushes us higher in the metrics. It's enjoyable to do this kind of stuff. And the more you engage with us, the more the videos get around, the more it encourages us to, it encourages us to keep doing this kind of stuff. So please give us the thumbs up, give us some encouragement. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon, I'm Brad Jackson. This has been The Jack Sunday Show.